Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Aaron And Nicole. This is Dude That's Fucked Up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Oh, my God. Today is extra fucked up. Ooh. So much fuckery. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, boy. Well, well, well. Oh, boy. <laughs> we have to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Dumb ways to die. <laughs> I saw someone use that today and I was like, I know. oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, we're talking, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, unfortunate events of the Titan, uh, you submersible. know, submersible. Yeah. You can call it that. The, yeah. The death tube. It was submersed. It was submersed <laughs> in the bottom of the ocean. Was it uh, submersible, s- though? Arguable. <laughs> I mean, anything would be submersible. Submersible. Yeah, yeah. yeah true. <laughs> um, yeah, so this this uh, little uh, story that's been in the news uh, lately that everybody is just befuddled, confounded, yeah. oh. discombobulated, yeah, um, f- flummoxed, flabbergasted by, I guess. Mm-hmm. All those things. At least I am. I, yeah. I mean, this has been a real, real head scratcher for me. So this guy... I had um, nightmares. Oh, I know. Me and DJ were just like the other night. So the, this this guy like made this like this submersible. If you don't know what that is, it's like a little DIY submarine. Yeah. <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Um, And he made it to take people down to go see the remains of the Titanic, which, mind you, is at the bottom of the ocean two miles deep, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um. And if you're not like, if you don't understand how far two miles is, maybe like the pressure of uh, 300 plus atmosphere, like that's like the measurement of it is yeah. like bearing down like the weight of the ocean that deep is insane. It's so. like 10,000 10, feet under the sea. Yeah. Like, because 5,000 feet is approximately a mile. Like, mm-hmm. we grew up on a mountain 5,000 feet from yeah. sea level. And that's a, a mile high. They always yeah. called it. So. <laughs> it's. it's ten, yeah, like 10,000 feet under the sea. That's insane. And, like, that deep in the ocean, light cannot penetrate from yeah. above oh it's dark as fuck it's it like, just has those ugly ang- angular fish or whatever angular ang- fish yeah 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 there's just not a lot that can actually sur- survive down there like uh mm. humpback whales i guess can go down to about like uh two thousand feet maybe uh, oh they're not even fucking with it down there they're like no, no. thanks <laughs> they're like mm. <laughs> it's a little too goth for us <laughs> <laughs> like it's dark down there Mm, no thank you oh no thank you but that's where you know that's where the titanic is it's way the fuck down there and like james cameron already made a fucking documentary with an unmanned submersible like yeah with with bright lights and cameras and you know fucking 4k hd bullshits i don't know i don't know what yeah. the fuck he's doing yeah but like that's all we needed we don't need to we don't need to have risk human beings going down there but no this man. Oh, my God. I don't even I, I, like I don't even. I, why you want to see it through a fucking porthole? Dude. Rent a movie theater. Make them make a 4K experience, you know, with like Truly. The w- water in your face and the moving seats. Exactly. At your leisure. You At know? your leisure. Yeah. Like, like drink fucking, a Bloody Mary while you're yes, watching it. You know, eat some popcorn, use a real toilet when you mm-hmm. have to go. Not like a milk jug with a hole cut in it, which is what was on this which on board is, this thing, because it's like it takes like at, like 10 hours, like round total. trip, I think. Yeah. To, yeah. Like go do this whole trip. So this oh, guy's done God. about two or three trips before this, like yeah. with hu- other human beings in the submersible. Um, and he was charging people yeah money to go down Quarter and dollars. you had to be loaded to go yeah if you can afford two hundred fifty thousand dollars to risk your life yeah and, loaded and crazy and one of the scariest fucking environments imaginable 
to go down and see a rusty ass boat that sank <laughs> over a hundred years ago, like you're, that you're we going, already have footage yeah. of. Go to the fucking Queen Mary in Long Beach. It looks exactly the same, and it's above water, and yeah. you can walk around on it. <laughs> That's right. That's it's, right. And there's like restaurants and shit. You could get a fucking Bloody Mary on that one. You know what That's I mean? Right. Yeah. And there's toilets. A, and there's toilets. Ooh. Yeah. So anyway, so this guy goes down, takes oh my God. A, a people with him that pay the exorbitant amount of money to go yeah. down. There's a father and a son, so they paid half a million dollars oh to go down, God. and then which a is nothing for them. Yeah, they're all these people are billionaires. So they go down and they lose contact with the surface with their like the mother boat, basically. Yeah. And nobody hears from them. And they have like 96 hours of oxygen on this thing. Yeah. And it's the size of a minivan. And you have to like sit not even because you can't stand even, up no. in it like you well, like the the outs, the exterior oh, oh, is, yes, is the yes, size yes. of a minivan. The yeah. interior is like a fucking Coffin. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. So oh. a fart coffin. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it, it disappears. Nobody knows what happens. They ran out of time. They're definitely dead. Um, yeah. And then they just found the debris field today. Yeah. But like before we started recording, they've like pretty much confirmed it's the this this yeah. uh, little thing. Now they know and, what happened. And they know what happened. It imploded yeah. due to yeah. the extreme pressure at the bottom of the ocean and so yeah. these people were literally like vaporized yeah thank which, god th- which best is case great. scenario I, I mean it's not great it's terrible it's horrible like it's terrible but also i mean like good for them because it the other way to die would have been excruciating and awful and so Prolonged stressful and, and pro- nightmare. Yeah. oh my god I yeah know. i know so yeah so the amount of thoughts i have on on ocean gate is like multitudinous yeah uh, as deep and as wide as the ocean <laughs> it's called ocean gate is the name of the company aka yeah. the little submarine made to dive down to see the titanic aka a mediocre white man delusion made manifest um <laughs> so it's just i have so many questions like why weren't they in one of the expensive ones that like james cameron hired or whatever like aren't there ones that are better built that you could take down there and so this guy this this man who who started this company who made this submersible he i mean he was a billionaire too he was on board this thing obviously yeah he he worked really hard to skirt around every single regulation that there was to do this because it's like he was like doing this in a private you know right. kind of way like sector yeah and so yeah. it was there was nobody sponsoring it there was nobody you know it was just him and then like whoever wanted to go down and, and risk their lives and sign the waiver right so these people understood the risk i guess maybe they you know understood it like intellectually but not actually because they're detached from reality because they're extremely wealthy and a lot of people aren't around them telling them what's real you know what I yeah. mean yeah well and it's kind of like you know how just when you pay for that much money for something you expect that it's like good like you expect mm-hmm. like oh it's gonna be good it costs this much money like a new skin cream or something and then it's like uh, no that's not the case like some things are just expensive and they're and not when good I- and when I say this shit was DIY, it was DIY. Like this man oh. had like mishmash like fucking shit together to make this. The toilet like, was literally a milk jug. Like yeah. it was a plastic jug with a screw top on it with like a little cutout uh, like for you to pee in and then put it in the little toilet or whatever. And like the, and they like the rules of getting on this thing were like you can't eat anything like you can't have a breakfast burrito before you get in here because you're not going to want to shit in case we get stuck. Like, yeah. For a l- little bit longer than. So. Yeah. Anyway. The no shit- shoes. Parts from Camper World. It's a whole. It's a whole. It was a whole big mess. Such a mess. Um, But before we dive like into all of this like yeah. hardcore. We, yeah. I, we, I just skipped over all of the business that we had at the top. Well, we um, can, that's the magic of editing. We can make it so no one knew true. that. That's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, well, because I want to keep talking about it like yeah. extensively. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say I have a correction corner From and it's last week. 
uh, two weeks ago, okay. and it's from our Bob Jones University episode. Oh. And not that anyone cares, but I had said that Asa Hutchinson uh, isn't running for president anymore, but that was a mistake. He actually is still running for president in the Republican primary, oh. um, which is like so stupid and dumb. And I like why? Yeah. Um, no one knows or cares, uh, but I had to correct my mistake for some reason. So it's very Connor Roy of him. Mm, very Connor Roy of him. <laughs> He's pulling it about 1%, I think. And spending just hemorrhaging money. Mm, That's hemorrhaging probably money. his own money because like. Mm. You have to be a big name to drum up don donations, I would imagine. And he's he's probably not even going to qualify to like get on the debate stage because you have to have like a th certain threshold of donors, yeah. Like, like, you know, not just like big donors, but like small dollar, like certain small dollar donors. Oh, and, just like a number of people. And yeah. You. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Oh. Anyway. Okay. I th well, I thought it was. I thought it was uh, important. I don't yeah. Know, just for I don't posterity. Know. I don't even know who that is, and I don't remember you saying it. So <laughs> I could not tell you what this man looks like. I, I couldn't pick him out out of a lineup, but yeah. you know, but I good. just have to. I, I gotta correct myself because yeah, when 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 the conscience strikes, the conscience strikes. We just have we just follow mm -hmm. it. We follow mm -hmm. our gut. Okay. I like why of all the things that we, I've said wrong, did I choose to correct that? I don't know. It's just. <laughs> It's just sticking. It's just a sticking point for you. It's, yeah, it really is. So, I mean, I yeah. used to work in politics, so I can't help it. I'm like, oh. Yeah. It's just, and it's current events. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. That's why I never feel too bad about, like, things we talk about, because it's always so long ago. It's like, oh, whatever. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. Should we also, I know everyone's, like, on the edge of their seats as to what story last week was the <laughs> one that was written by a, a real life human mm -hmm. and the, and, Obviously, that makes the other three written by a robot. Um, and uh, with the help of Aaron and I. Mm -hmm. OK, so this is delightful because <laughs> 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 only Ooh. only 21 percent of people got it right. Far less than last time. Mm. Last time it was like at 40 percent or higher, I think. I think the, higher. It was, yeah, like it was like almost 50 Maybe yeah. or mm -hmm. 60. I think it was it, like 60 something percent of the people. Yeah. Guessed the last the first G chat GPT story. Correct. Uh, right. On our poll on our. Yeah. Spotify. On the, yeah. But only 21 percent of people guessed this. Uh, guessed the correct story written by a human, which mm -hmm. was duh, 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 the first one. That Aaron read where the mom shat on a cat. That's a real human story. The can rest, you believe? Can you believe it? Shot through when you pass gas and you shoot through. That's real. When you, you pass wind and you shoot through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was real, you guys. That it's was so completely good. real. Yeah. Um, every, all the other ones we were made up by AI. Yeah. Like 100%. Like, yeah. We're, we we did elevate it this time where like I fed the shat on a cat story into into chat GPT and I said use this tone and you know writing style but mm. make it about a, someone at the doctor's office who is flirting with the nurse and peas in a cup. That was my first one. And they go to hand it to them and it spills. And I, you know, we have to fine tune these things. Yeah. But I bear, I feel like I barely did. I like said uh, barely. Yeah. My, I, I think chat GPT is like starting to get more like savvy because I, I, I gave a prompt of like it, like the, the style is, an email to best friends. Yeah. The 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 content is or like the the subject is a family going on vacation. Yeah. For a wedding and the dad gets sunburned while you know nude beach. sunbathing nude. Yeah, and yeah. Like I I didn't do that much. No. Like I was like this is a funny concept and yeah. then it just like I don't know. It's crazy. No. I didn't even the joke that I thought was so funny about um like a champagne cork on New Year's Eve. They gave me that like oh, ChatGPT gave me that, and it was a little like the end kind of got a little weird. So then I asked it to rewrite it, and I mm -hmm. was like, and make the end 
more in this tone or whatever. But yeah. like I, I'm very aware because I'm very aware that I want it to do the work. Mm-hmm. And I just do a little few corrections, but I don't like delete anything or mm-hmm. physically change it. Like I leave what it wrote and it, it's working. Yeah. It's working because it's scary, babe. It's scary. And, you know, it's again, reading these, I'm like, oh, they're going to know. They're going to know. know. <laughs> but yeah, no one's going to know. Who's going to know? Yeah. Um, oh, they nobody knew this nobody time. Nobody knew. Nobody this was this is uh starting to get a little scary um uh-huh. but you guys you know whoever guessed right whoever guessed that the first story was a real story pat yourself on the back yeah uh to everybody else uh bow to the robot overlords yeah have your little uh you know existential crisis yeah and get back up on that horse and send us a story <laughs> yes we need more stories to feed into ai mm-hmm. to get fake ones to mm-hmm. to yeah. try and fool you all <laughs> Oh, we laugh. We laugh. Yeah. But we fiddle while Rome is burning. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah. What a treat. So that was good. And I can't wait to do it again. I I really can't. It's going to be so fun. Um, it's so fun. But until then, we will jump back into our episode topic that we're going to do tonight. Yeah. Um, Or today. Uh, So... Let me just like go back to the the dum dums that yeah the dum dum they ship. they just Davy Jones lockered themselves like they didn't even wait for no the ocean to claim them they were like I mean it claimed them it claimed them yeah <laughs> it said it hugged them so hard they just yeah. turned to goo according to a mortician Oof, that I yeah. saw on TikTok I um, saw that ooh. Yeah. yeah, I was I was reading many articles about like what happens when a submarine implodes and it is first of all the physics involved are way over my head but yeah. apparently it's like uh the energy that is created is like something crazy and it's Whoa. really scary and yeah. I don't know. It's combustion. It's, a lot. it's like Yeah. And it happened, I mean, that's the best, you know, when we say that's the best case scenario, it happened so quickly mm-hmm. that they were didn't, their brains didn't even have time to register it. Like they were no. dead in a millisecond. Do you know what I mean? Like Exactly. The the amount of time that this, like the, the disaster of this happening was in, was, it happened so quickly. They blinked out of existence, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the, fucking uh, uh, a Thanos snap. I was gonna say Thanos. Uh, <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> it the, it was a Thanos pucker, and they were gone. Like Thanos truly, puckered bef- his asshole, bef- and like their done. brain couldn't even. No, they f- like, didn't feel pain. Nothing. Like it's the, like the synapse, they were there, and they were not. The synapses couldn't spark no. fast enough to to Mm-mm. even register anything that was happening because it all happened so fast. So that yeah. is like. A blessing, I think, honestly. That's a good way to go. O- Truly. It, in all truth. Like, most If you're going to risk your life like this, yeah. In general, even if you're not going to mm. risk your life, like, mm. going that quickly without without warning and no pain, blessing. Mm. Wow. They're lucky. And now we're all jealous. No. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> For our fu- mm. for in the future, because you cannot pay me to go in that thing. I was gonna say I would pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to have someone kill me on land first before I would go <laughs> into that thing. Just kill me here, because I don't want that. Yeah, like I, I didn't want to be trapped in that fucking thing for days while people are looking for you. Like, turns out I I think we don't know the timeline of it all yet, but I I think when they lost contact is probably when it combusted. So, yeah, but who's to say? Because they also say? they also uh, the the previous trips that this had taken. I, I think we're only two or three. Yeah. Uh, so this is all still very experimental. BT yeah. dubs. Yeah. Um. Everything was powered, like the communications are powered by uh, Starlink, which is Elon Musk's oh. satellite internet. Yeah. Because there is no, nothing around yeah. this spot yeah. in the ocean. Right. So there needs to be some, like a, a satellite internet. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, of course, somehow Elon Musk is to blame for all oh, this, too. Yeah. 
Well, he's involved, of course. Yeah, well, he's involved, of course. Yeah, billionaire on billionaire crime. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So it, it um, the whole thing is just such a debacle, and mm-hmm. I think it's like captured a lot of people's imagination just because it's so, it's like so much hubris, and the irony of it is like thick yeah like these people were going down to see the titanic the site of a disaster that had claimed thousands of people's lives Mm -hmm. um and the titanic in and of itself was this like huge thing that man was so confident in right yes that would it was literally called the unsinkable titanic like yeah it's and it sunk yeah, it's like it's this whole thing of like it's for their entertainment. It wasn't even this this wasn't even some kind of mission where like people were going to learn something, you know? It's just like fucking billionaires being like, "Look at my new cool toy." Oh, yeah, cool. look at what I, I get wanna... to do. Yeah. I get to do this experience that like five people on the planet have ever yeah. done. Look at look at how exclusive this club is that I'm in. Like it's rarefied that I yeah. get to do this. Like what like of course like yeah that is the the whole impetus of it which is just again these people are on another plane of of existence than yeah somebody who hears about something like this and is like absolutely not so yeah um it's like it's all in the same category to me as like climbing mount everest or something Mm -hmm. it's like people have already been up there there's like thousands (laughs) of dead bodies up there yeah and it's hard like yeah what makes you think you're going to be the one to like survive It's already it. been done. It's already yeah. been done. Like yeah. you can't do it anymore. Like and not only is it been done, it's been done a lot of times. Yeah. So uh, there's I don't know. And there's nothing more to be gained other than your own personal like Right. It's personal weird things and that's what that is it's personal it's like because you then get to go tell people at fucking dinner parties Mm -hmm. about the time you went down in an astro van that was sealed (laughs) shut with a fucking Mm. porthole Mm -hmm. and you got to see the titanic through that little hole and everyone goes okay i've seen a thousand documentaries and i've seen a better and it's on my fucking 40 inch screen tv which is bigger than that hole. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> like like so buy the new fucking uh, Apple goggles that are coming out and watch <laughs> any James Cameron yeah, yeah. documentary. Totally. On it. Watch, just watch Titanic on it. You know? Totally. Like, it's, yeah. It's fine. So I think the best take I've seen on this shit is some someone on TikTok saying, you know who's not at the bottom of the ocean? Women. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. It's It's just... so good. And it's like, of course not, because they don't have the fucking time to do this bullshit. I know. I know. Or the gall. OK. <sighs> yeah. I think that I love I love how the ocean is just like always been that bitch. It's like, oh, yeah. We know she's dangerous. Yes. And we still keep fucking with her. You oh, know? my God. Like, but she has been going the fuck off lately. Like orcas are out here <laughs> fucking up yachts. I know. They're like learning how to like to like tip and sink them. Yeah. Like the the head orca white Gladys is like running around the ocean and be like, bitch, listen to this. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna show you how to sink a fucking yacht yeah. who's with me. And everybody's like, fuck yeah. Fuck it. All these all these whales are like, let's sink some yachts. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, okay. Orcas, hurricane season starting early. Um, cruise ships are getting fucked up in storms. Like everything's oh. going wild. Yeah. And I, I, all this is to say, I just like don't understand why human beings are still trying to fuck with the ocean in this way. Like what is happening? And also like of all places to go, the Titanic. Yeah. We have so many documentaries, like we've said before. Yeah. It's just it's not good enough for people to watch a documentary anymore. They have to get in a fucking thing, go down to the bottom of the ocean and risk death just to see a rusty shipwreck. Um, no. You go. You need therapy. You have a personality disorder. If you're that bored, mm-hmm. you're boring. I'm like, telling it's you. It's you. You're the problem. Go, go do again, some self-work. 
I've said it so many times. Rich people are so boring. Like, so boring. It's so unfair. Like the amount of things I could think of to do with like I know all of this money is just like uh, anyway. So I'm so confused. People and then I'm wondering. So do they have to go prove to themselves that the Titanic really sank? Because yes, there are conspiracy theories out here. In the year of our Lord, 2023, uh, that the Titanic uh, has never sank or that it was switched at birth or something <laughs> happened. Yeah. There's, there's conspiracy theories about the Titanic and we're going to talk about them today. Oh, my God. This 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 uh, episode isn't all about dunking on the poor departed souls that uh, risk their lives to go. The rich departed souls, the rich I believe. Departed souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... R.I.P. to them. Yeah, but, yeah. R.I.P. Um, it's tragic, but also they signed the paperwork, so like it's not a, that big of a surprise, I would think. I didn't even know about this. You told me when we were talking the other day. You're like, oh yeah, there's all these conspiracy theories, which I didn't even know people questioned that. But if people are questioning if the Earth is round, yeah, or flat, then there's definitely everything. People everything. are questioning everything, and it's like I get the like human urge to question and wonder. But this is like something that's well documented. And yeah. All of these conspiracy theories are so fucking dumb. It's ridiculous. So yeah. we're going to talk about like two that are really popping, especially on the Internet these days. Um, and especially now that there's all this attention on the Titanic because of this uh, disaster, this submersible disaster that we just had. Um, yeah. So, as we all know, the Titanic sank on April 14th, 1912, after sideswiping an iceberg. Um, the amount of people that were on the Titanic was 2,224 people. And of, the, of that amount, 1,514 people died and 710 survived. That was, that's like a a lot of people like 60 percent of the fucking yeah i was gonna say yeah like a third of the people survived yeah um and it was very major at the time obviously and it still is it's like, still we major have... i think everybody is so fascinated with it you know not just people that think there's conspiracies because totally. it is fascinating oh, look at people are wanting to go people. down and risk their lives to yeah. see the wreckage and that's yeah. why i'm like you know this is why there's there's conspiracy theories because no, it's not this like accessible thing but even if it was I think yeah. there'd still be uh conspiracy theories but yeah so yeah. people are fascinated by it it was it was a huge tragedy and it was right it happened right at the turn of the century right when everything the world was like starting to become so much more global than it had before yeah um and technology was like really starting to like pop off you know and and so we're using all of this new technology and new ways and like making all these like luxury things like the wealth distribution was out of control um Mm. and yep exactly and so we had this like very very interesting time I think where something like this captured the the imagination just the ship itself was so cool to people but the fact that it sank was yeah horrifying it was a spectacle Mm -hmm. and the you're right like everything was like like we'd already had a few world's fairs and stuff like there was this also there was this competition to be bigger and better and that was kind of starting to ramp up you know what I mean and so like that thing those things excited people they got Mm -hmm. behind those things because they were interesting yeah. Um, and pretty much within a few days, though, of the Titanic sinking, uh, conspiracy s- theories started popping up already. That makes sense to me then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like it was it took days for all of the like, if not weeks, for all of the information to start coming out. The survivor stories, the like, yeah, you know, the descriptions of what happened in the middle of the night in the water like yes the the you know what people had witnessed that survived this thing this horrible disaster were unbelievable it's hard to wrap your head around it 
even mm-hmm. now. And I feel like that's why people are also fascinated with it because it's just like, how though? Like, mm-hmm. how, but there was just, it's one of those things where there were just too many factors. Mm-hmm. You can't just point to one thing. I mean, you can, the iceberg. But mm-hmm. also, <laughs> I sure. mean, if we want to blame, if we want to put blame on one thing it's that but you know there was also issues with like the the water being freezing cold and not enough lifeboat like there was like so many factors where like Mm -hmm. if this happened maybe on a different day to a slightly more like different ship that wouldn't have been the case Mm -hmm. and I think too like we just didn't know as much as we know now like we you couldn't go down and see the wreckage Mm -mm. you couldn't do that until like the 70s or 80s, right? Like, when did we first go down and see the wreck? Or the 90s, even? Like, I think the 80s is when they detected the wreckage. Oh, they, yeah. Like, they found, found it with it. sonar and stuff. Yeah, like, they yeah. finally were able to find it and, like... Because take- they... It was so deep down in the ocean. It's so deep, yeah. And yeah. And how do you know where exactly to look? Because you, it didn't fall straight down. We know, you know. Mm -hmm. And so there's so many things. And so, like, it kind of like it started falling down, and then kind of, you know, and there's underwater currents, and there's underwater currents, and chunks went everywhere. And Mm -hmm. so I think you know it makes sense that especially like if you had a loved one on the ship and they couldn't find their body but they found all these other bodies you're like that's weird why you know but Mm -hmm. you didn't we didn't know that they sunk to the bottom like Mm -hmm. and you couldn't see you couldn't check you know but now there's like shoes down there and that's because the bodies like like disintegrated to the bottom and disintegrated but the shoes remained and Mm -hmm. are like preserved i saw a tiktok about that and i was like fucked man dude it's fucked and so fascinating that like someone like what laid there for only like within five years the bones disintegrate that deep Mm -hmm. because of the like off balance of carbon or whatever yeah yeah Yeah. i mean the whole thing is all gonna disappear eventually we're very lucky that we found it in the first place um and that we have like footage underwater of it yeah it's incredible that that's amazing because in you know another uh, I don't know a hundred years or something it's probably going to be totally disintegrated there'll only yeah. be like a few major pieces of it left because yeah the rate of disintegration is gonna the ocean's gonna reclaim it it's so, already disintegrate like you can't even move it you can't even pull can't, some things up from it or whatever because like it'll just disintegrate yeah so it's it's wild that we even know where it is that yeah. like we have all of the like 3D renderings of of yeah. of it and and know it at, we're able to piece together exactly what happened. Yeah. Um and depict the the series of events and know exactly what happened. So yeah. um it's pretty it's pretty amazing but at the time when this was all very fresh people were like what the fuck this was supposed to be unsinkable how did this happen this yeah. couldn't have happened um in the way that people are saying yeah it just all seems so unbelievable so one of the first conspiracy theories that popped up and have endured through the years and like is now coming back around again that you'll probably see on TikTok or something is Mm -hmm. the conspiracy theory that this was done on purpose somehow that somebody somehow sabotaged the the Titanic to sink with thousands of people on board in order to kill people. Yeah. Specifically a few very wealthy (laughs) prominent people. Yeah. It was a hit. (laughs) It was so dumb. By J.P. Morgan, specifically. Uh, J.P. Morgan was a real person. It's not just a (laughs) fucking investment bank. (laughs) It's so dumb. Yeah, it's like people believe that basically... So J.P. Morgan and some of his buddies were... They were on course to create the Federal Reserve, like the Federal Reserve Bank, and which eventually they did, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, there are conspiracy theories that like other... People didn't want them to do that. Namely, a few of the prominent men who were on board the Titanic and like they were against creating a central bank. And that would include John Jacob Astor, the 
fourth, Benjamin Guggen- Guggenheim and Isidore Strauss. And they were like also those billionaires, are- wealthy men. We know those names. We know those A- names. Those are Astor, been- yep. Guggenheim and Strauss. Those yeah. are all huge names. Like mm-hmm. those closest to American royalty that we have. Totally. Like, so. and it is wild. I mean, like, it's just another weird thing that they were all on there and died. Like, yeah, that's pretty wild. So I understand why it's hard for people's brains to, like, think this just happened. Do you know what but, I mean? But also, it's not that. Yeah, it's not. It's Because it was the weird. big to do. It was a big thing. Because also, these people had small circles because they were up at the top of the fucking food chain. Yeah. The one percent of the one percent. <laughs> and they were all buddies. They yeah. all did stuff together. They all traveled together. They all did business meetings overseas together. Yeah. How the fuck are they gonna get back home to America? Yeah. Hop on the Titanic. Get like the most luxurious fucking yes. way to travel at the time. Yeah. Period. And go together because you don't want to be together. alone and be forced to talk to the poor. Yeah, you want to go and like eat dinner together. Yeah. Smoke cigars and drink fucking highballs. Like, yeah, exactly. At, on a ship. Yeah. Okay. And even JP Morgan wanted to do that. But mm-hmm. what's weird is that leading into, oh, I should say also, okay, because this is another little piece of evidence that conspiracy theorists use. So, quote not, unquote evidence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, not only was Morgan like a very wealthy ma- man, but he owned the International Mercantile Marine. And that's the company that owned White Star, who, of course, owned Titanic. Yeah. So and their sister and the Britannica and the Olympia, the Olympi- 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 Olympic Olympic Olympia. Yeah. Oh, OK. I don't know. Yeah. Um. And so. Yeah. So he. Well, I mean, if you're going to call a hit on someone, use what you got, you know, and it's like, yeah, you just call up your people and you say, run this, run the Titanic into a iceberg. OK, thanks. Bye. You know. <laughs> OK, but that's not the only <laughs> It's so dumb. But that's not the only piece. Okay, what if I also told you that leading into the maiden voyage, Morgan had a suite booked on the Titanic. Very, very, like, the classiest suite probably because it had, like, it had, like, custom built-in cigar holders in the, um, I was going to say hot tub, in the bathtub. Like, it, Bitch, it had- those weren't cigar holders. Those were pocket pussies built into the <laughs> bathtub. <laughs> Just, just a JP, porcelain we all, pocket pussy. We all know that JP Morgan was a freak. <laughs> that man fucks his tub. Yeah. <laughs> it gives a whole new meaning to tub thumping. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he was um okay, so also like yeah, they like put little flourishes in all these rich people's rooms that they wanted. It's like a writer for a fucking rock band, okay? Totally, yeah. And he's like, I want my tub to be fuckable. And (laughs) he was in France, like in the weeks leading up to the maiden voyage. And he was supposed to leave and go, you know, meet it in London or Ireland or wherever the fuck it left from. I forget. Mm -hmm. And he canceled it. He's like, no, you know what? I'm I'd rather stay here. I guess he was like maybe ill or this is this is also what leads to the conspiracies because it's hard like not everything is so detailed and Mm -hmm. you know these records aren't kept perfectly but from what i read it's like he was like maybe feeling under the weather but was also maybe with his mistress it was like maybe both and so he Mm -hmm. was just like playing coy you know and like just like oh i think i'm just gonna stay and luxuriate here a little bit longer and like i'll meet you guys back in new york yeah um and so he canceled trip and he stayed in france and so everyone's like oh of course like he canceled it because he knew that that thing was going to slam sideways into an iceberg and everyone would die and it's like uh, or he just like wanted to fuck on his lady like (laughs) i'm telling you the amount of like mental gymnastics you have to (laughs) do to get to this conclusion is unbelievable like why the fuck like like you're trying to like take out three dudes who yeah. are also really wealthy. So the best way to do it is to sink an entire fucking <laughs> ship. I know no. of innocent people. You would even 
the most monstrous person yeah. in the world. Because first of all, this is like this ship is like the tits. Yeah. Okay. So much money is invested in this ship. And That's what I was just gonna say. This affects like, his bottom line. You think he wanted truly. to lose all that money? Uh no. Well, and you know, it was insured, of course. He was gonna get like insurance money for the ship but like that's a fucking but your long-term earnings are are squashed yeah exactly it's at the bottom of the fucking ocean so yeah so that leads us to the next conspiracy theory that is people have been out here on tiktok yelling about uh which is (laughs) also just as stupid but in a different way yeah um this is the old switcheroo um conspiracy theory (laughs) it's a classic a classic silly joke switching out one massive ocean liner for another massive ocean liner (laughs) at Um, birth at birth yeah (laughs) switch to birth um freaky friday these two (laughs) yeah they freaky friday this is the conspiracy theory there is an elaborate (laughs) it's simple yet so elaborate one of the simple yet so elaborately stupid i should say one of the ships has a short sassy haircut and is the mom (laughs) and also the spokeswoman of activia the other (laughs) ship is a young red-haired starlet and they both wish they were each other and they freaky friday i thought you were gonna say it was like the movie twins like (laughs) arnold schwarzenegger and danny devito they just swap it with a tugboat and pretend no one notices (laughs) what yeah yeah Uh the titanic so the 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 this is how this story this contra or this uh this fucking conspiracy theory goes. Basically, this man, Robin Gardner, wrote a book called Titanic, the Ship That Never Sank. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> wow. And it's um he basically says, uh, he draws on some Events and coincidences that occur in the months, days, and hours leading up to the sinking of the Titanic and concludes that the ships that the ship that sank was in fact Titanic sister ship, Olympic, disguised as the Titanic <laughs> as an insurance scam by its owners. Which is the like inter- a little glasses with a mustache on the front. Yeah. <laughs> it was little Groucho Marx disguise. Yeah. <laughs> a little hat, a little fedora. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, who's Titanic? I mean, who's Olympic? (laughs) First of all, the fact like that it's like a scam, like an insurance scam, like they're just like writing a bad check or something like this is like the fucking. Oh, my God. So he says the International Mercantile Marine Group uh, controlled by uh, the American financer, J.P. Morgan, like you were talking about. Yeah. uh, Acquired the White Star Line in 1902. Mm -hmm. And this whole so he's saying this whole thing is just a scam for them to they think he he's saying the olympic was damaged at some point oh and they were like it's gonna sink eventually like we just want to get rid of it out of the fleet or something so go fucking sink that and get the insurance you could just burn it in the (laughs) fucking slip at the dock you know like what yeah like yeah what do you and Electrical like, oh fire. God. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. The ship caught fire. What the fuck? I need insurance money. That's a scam. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't go and put a bunch of innocent people. On oh, a- my God. It's just so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, And then so like a bunch of researchers like read this book and they're like, sir, this man, Bruce Beveridge and another guy, Steve Hall, are among many of the like historians who have taken issue with his book. Um, and then this man, th- this man, this British historian, Gareth Russell, he really calls this man out. I mean, this man <laughs> just cooks this guy like so fucking hard. <laughs> he said this, this British historian, Gareth Russell says, um, the theory is quote, so painfully ridiculous that one can only lament the thousands of trees which lost their lives to provide the paper on which it has been articulated. <laughs> 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 Bitch, he said, oh my God, that shit that you wrote down and used paper for is not worth yeah. wiping my own ass with, okay? He's like, like those poor trees had yeah. to suffer for you to write this garbage. Garbage. Mama, it's garbage, okay? 
Oh my god. Okay, but I really love the name Bruce Beveridge. I just want to put that on the record. Beveridge. I know Bruce Beveridge. Please. Bruce, I'm Bruce Beveridge. Nice Hi, to I'm meet you. And this is my best friend, Mr. Snack. I don't know. <laughs> and together we're Beveridge and Snack. No, his name needs to be like Steve Pretzel. <laughs> Or, uh, this is my wife, uh, <laughs> Tina Treat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bruce Beveridge. This is my wife, Tina Treat. Tina, Tina Beveridge Treat. There's a Tina Beveridge Treat. And this is our third. <laughs> Chip snack. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Uh, Tina Treat. Tina Treat. <laughs> Tina beverage treat. I like a, a I like a beverage treat. <laughs> That's what Chip like Snack a said. Pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, and then this man goes on. This oh no, story. not <laughs> not Gar- like- not a uh, not Bruce Beveridge, but Gareth <laughs> Russell. He keeps going. He says, "Quote: Since the sister ships had significant interior architectural and design differences, switching them secretly in a week would be nearly impossible from a pr- practical standpoint. A switch would also not be economically worthwhile, since the ship's owners." could have simply damaged the ship while docked for instance by setting a fire and collected the insurance money from that quote accident which would have been far less severe and infinitely less stupid than sailing her out into the middle of the Atlantic with thousands of people and their luggage on board and ramming her into an iceberg my god and their luggage and all the food that they purchased to like serve people and 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 like and no, and and it's so insane this man debunked this theory so fucking hard that uh, Robin Gardner had to write a new book called I'm a Stupid Bitch, Sorry About My Bullshit Titanic Book. No, he didn't. I'm just making it <laughs> But he should be ordered sh- to in a court of law. He should be ordered to like go jump into the ocean after that. Dude, my God. I would change my name to like Bob uh, fucking, I don't know, Bob Beverage. <laughs> I would try to join the beverage family after. I would yeah, try. I would. I would just. I would Do go into witness protection after yeah. getting yeah. read to filth like that. My God. Oh my God. Okay, but this is also making me think. I kind of love this idea of like punishing people through those t- like through shaming them that way. That's why. Yes. Like yeah. I- I'm a stupid bitch. Sorry about my bullshit Titanic book. Yes, that is your next book. You have to yeah. write it. Yeah, you have or to. Or you go to jail forever. <laughs> um, you have two choices. You can yeah. write a book about how you're a stupid bitch and you're yeah. very wrong and yeah. basically wrote misinformation. Or you can go to jail. Yeah. Third option. Just jail. Third option. You can round up $250,000 and go down to see where the Titanic actually <laughs> is, sir, in Do- a Pringles pan. <laughs> For a human. (laughs) This man really thought that somebody went up to the boat, rubbed off the Titanic, (laughs) or rubbed off the Olympic and put Titanic on it. Like Like it's a Looney Tunes cartoon. They're just putting up a wooden sign over it that says. Literally, this was this whole entire premise of this book. And I mean, the whole thing is just so silly. I can't. It's so funny, though. The debunking of it is so funny. It's so funny. Yeah, that's good. I I, I feel it makes me so angry. Like, I mm. have a lot of anger that comes up when we look at conspiracy theories sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, it just is so infuriating to me. But this more so because people died and people survived and were mm-hmm. like, this is what happened. And to not feel empathy for those people and hear their stories and believe them is so fucking like narcissistic or some some sort of personality disorder. I, I believe that the reason people are so quick to jump to conspiracy theories it's like a protective strategy oh they can't be vulnerable they it is so hard for them to process and understand yeah something like this tragic that it has to be something else you know that's fair yeah i could and and it's it's like overwhelming i think and so people like 
have to get lost in this alternative reality somehow. Yeah. And and that's why I think uh, conspiracy theories in general are just so appealing to people because it allows you to kind of like live in a fantasy. Yeah. And reality is is what you're you're making it and you get to like spend time spinning up into this like uh, other alternative world I guess I don't know it's like ultimately avoidant like it's avoidant yeah yeah Mm -hmm. like ultimately you can't you can't like stomach the sadness of this thing Mm -hmm. or or the or the hate of something mm-hmm. or whatever, you know, whatever like it is. People, people like truly believing that the Holocaust. Like, yeah, exactly. Didn't That's what I'm thinking of. It's like yeah. people can't stomach that humans could do this to each other or, you know, could do this to other humans. So it's easier. Mm-hmm. So I do kind of understand that. But it's like, but then it's like, okay, well, I mean, go get some help because there you're in the like very very small segment of people who haven't accepted this and it's real and like there's plenty of evidence so now you're just like trying to be weird Mm -hmm. yeah it's like there's 9-11 truthers you know there's people out here who it's just like they it's like poking a bruise almost of where they want to still like kind of relive the like trauma of this but yeah. in a way that like they can control where you know what I mean like yeah it's, that's it, interesting it, it's very it's very interesting so I don't know and I I just think like anytime something like this major happens there's always gonna be people who are looking at all the the surrounding information and extrapolating something else out of it like as we speak right at this moment people yeah. are formulating conspiracy theories about the submersible that yes. went down I was just gonna right say right now so I and I understand because it is hard to like it's hard to think like we can't do anything to find those people you know mm-hmm. up until we knew what had happened earlier today like yesterday like I was really hoping and waiting mm-hmm. and I kept checking my news app because I'm like they have to find these people right like they're like and but then it's like no like that's it's a the ocean's a big fucking place and they have no idea where to look it's wild but yeah the fact that there's titanic conspiracy theories never knew that and the fact that they came to light again because of this makes sense yeah, let's see what kind of uh, conspiracy theories come out about the oh the the, the government did it so that you can't go down to see that there is no Titanic wreckage. I mean, don't even say that out loud. But of course, that's like logically, (laughs) that's the first one, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Or like these guys fake their own deaths to like avoid some sort of jail time or something. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Or or like, yeah, it's a distraction for something else. I've seen, I've already seen stuff like that. Like somehow these guys are going to be linked to like Jeffrey Epstein or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> I did see one conspiracy that is definitely wrong now at this point because they were like, oh, yeah, um, I think it's this is for them to make money making a movie in a year because like they're going to find them with like an hour left. They're going to have survived. It's going to be this like amazing movie cut to today. And that's they're not green lighting uh, that. No, because that's not what happened. I do want to see like some sort of a not like recreation but i want to i want to like see the like mechanics of an implosion on this oh level. yeah you know, i think like, you can okay yeah i saw what it looks like with like a fraction of the like force oh oh of oh you want to oh you want to see some you want to see like a real thing implode at that deep oh okay yeah. i see i've seen like a cartoon or whatever hmm um, but yeah, that's I don't you know what I don't like watching on TikTok? Those um crushers. It's like those machines that oh, just I keep spinning. Oh no, no. I think of limbs and people and I just think, No, I don't like that machine. <laughs> Every time I get one, I'm like, no, no. Oh, I like it. It's like ASMR <laughs> for my for my soul. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, well. All right. 
All right, guys. Well, uh, shit. I know. Don't go two miles under the water, okay? Mm -mm. It's not. It's not what humans. We're not built for that. Nothing is really built for that except for those very little sea creatures, uh, anglerfish. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not good. No. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Ugh. Oh my god! But do send us a funny story because oh, please do. we have We're to gonna... feed the AI. We have to feed the AI um, overlords so mm-hmm. they shine funny stories down upon us. Mm-hmm. We are we are owe them a debt, mm-hmm. and we want to read your story on the podcast and read some other ones that we pull out of our sunburned buns. <laughs> my dad's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh what God. one got the most votes? Uh, to be real, the peacock one. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which oh I God. didn't like. Get looking back, I guess it had it had just enough, just enough zhuzh, just to, enough zhuzh to to be and and I will give you this piping hot tea. I don't think it's tea, but um, a, a behind the scenes uh secret. I accidentally ended both of the stories that I read exactly the same and didn't notice until out like we were recording that that I didn't ah. catch that AI ended them both best whoever. Oh my god. Like it, oh it was like I'm a fan of the podcast blah blah. Like it was exactly the same, the sentence and then best name. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh shit." So when we did it in real life, I tried to correct it, but I messed up and then I edited it out. And so we, I mean, we should leave that stuff in so that people can pick up on the clues. Yeah, we should. But then I was like, no, they'll get it right away. And I don't want them to. Mm. And they didn't. Well, <laughs> nobody did. Well, a lot of, some people did. But. Yeah, some people did. I I changed it in the, like, as we were reading it, I kind of said something else like, love the pod, talk to you later or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But then I didn't say best because I'm like, only one of those. So now we have to be a little bit more inventive with our, the sign-offs, or we just have to make sure they're different. Yeah, gotcha. Well, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. For the, for the next uh, volume of Chat GPT. Can't wait. Send, send us your stories. Mm-hmm. And um, follow us on social media. It's at DTFU Podcast everywhere. Yeah. Um, go to our website. It's DTFUPodcast.com. We have lots of merch. Mm-hmm. Check out our... Um, a Patreon. It's yes. patreon.com slash DTFU podcast. I we just have, posted some fun stuff. Yeah, we do um, bonus episodes. Um, we have a Discord. We have, yeah. we do a Q&A every month. So yeah, it's the, gonna, the Discord was popping off with this whole story. Yeah, we've, we've all been talking about it. We've gone down so many rabbit holes on the Discord with all kinds of topics. But yeah. as of late, it's been all all submersible drama yeah yeah. so yeah check it out um that's all i got Um, all right um stay excellent to yourselves and each other bye bye